Danny Acosta for Fight Magazine here with UFC heavyweight number one contender Cain Velasquez. How does that sound, number one contender? Sounds good. You know, um, just all the hard work that I put in is finally paying off, and uh, you know, one one step closer to, to getting what I want. Is it pretty surreal for you? You know, ever since you came into the gym from day one, Javier Mendez said that you were going to be the UFC heavyweight champion, and now this opportunity is there for you. Is it kind of a, like a dream for you? Yeah, it's, it's been a dream ever since I started. I mean, ever since I started, you know, doing this sport, I've, I've wanted to be the champion. I've wanted to be in this position. This is what, you know, so it's pretty much all the hard work that I put in has come down to, the, to this point. And, um, you know, I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep working hard. I keep getting better to try to keep improving. And you've had a, you haven't had a fight since February. You know, Brock Lesnar, uh, it'll be your second fight in 2010. How have you been staying active and, and what have you been focusing on in this time while you're waiting for that title shot? I'm um, just getting better in the gym, uh, getting technique-wise better. Um, always sparring in here. I mean, I think that really gets gets me ready for fights. Um, it keeps me sharp. It's kind of like you know, you you get nervous like, like you would in a fight. You know, you come in here sparring. It's not in front of a big crowd. I mean, but it's as close to a fight as you know as it comes. And how did you feel about Brock Lesnar's performance against Shane Carwin? I thought, I thought he looked good. You know, I thought. Um, he showed a lot of heart. A lot of guys would not have gotten past that first round with, with Shane, I mean, especially him, you know, with the ground and pound. He really just sort of like, he, he has a lot of heart. He has a heart of a, a true champion that, it, that he can overcome adversity and come back and win. What holes did you see in his game, uh, if any? You know, I don't know if it was the layoff that he had or the, the you know, the illness, but uh, some, you know, his striking didn't look, didn't look as, as good as Shane's, but I mean, just, you know, Shane Carron has a lot of power and he showed that. But just like I said before, he showed a lot of heart to come back and to win that fight. You defeated a legend in your last fight, uh, Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira. Is that giving you more confidence going to this title fight? You're coming off the biggest win of your career, you know, it's a, a right time, right place kind of deal? Um, it just feels like every every fight, uh, you know, the next guy is, is, is harder. It's a lot harder. I mean, every fight, the guy's ten times better. That That's how I have to approach this fight, you know. Nogueira's Nogueira, but I mean, this fight is just it's a whole other level, I think. Brock Lesnar uh, is, is someone who likes to trade words with his opponents. Uh, is that something that you think uh, you'll be partaking in? No, that's not my style. You know, I'm pretty much some. I'm, I'm going to show you that. You know, that, that's what I do. I don't. I don't talk. I'm going to show you. Do you feel that Brock Lesnar is going to bring a, a different look, or do you feel there's not enough time between his last fight and, and this fight to, to progress? Really, we'll see. You know, I think um, he, he has good training partners. Good. Uh, Good coaches that he's always training. He's always getting better in all aspects of MMA. But I mean, I've always got to be aware of his strong point, you know, and that's his power and his his wrestling. And uh, are you going to be emphasizing your, your wrestling in this camp because it is Brock Lesnar? And also, how do you intend to deal with his size? Definitely. Um, you know, I expect the fight to go everywhere. You know, on the feet, on the ground. So I'm pretty much going to be polished in all aspects of MMA. And then, um, you know, with, with his with his wrestling, I mean, I'm bringing other guys in that are his size. That you know are Division one level guys, wrestlers, and I mean that, that's pretty much that's, that, that's pretty much all I can do. Brock's an intimidating champion. Uh, are you intimidated by Brock Lesnar? No, I mean he's he's just another man, you know that I have to go that I have to fight against to, to get what I want. So, any last, any last words for fans? Uh, you know, thanks for all your support, guys. Uh, I'm gonna keep training hard and win win for you guys. Definitely, thank you. UFC number one contender, Ken Velasquez.